Just, why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alphine, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? Yes, 
Neptune's ghost. That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. You don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry. Get you out. What is that name? Well, the last squid thingy we saw was Diener, so... Oh, boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful workplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. There's gotta be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. Why did they trap it down here? Hafkifers are known to burrow. Well, I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. Cut the half goof and loose here. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goof. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our Dark Elf friends, after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead, but if Ragnarok approaches... I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I.
something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Didn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who are keen on destabilizing the government. Enough. We will continue later. More bloody talker! <laughs> <laughs> took a stealthy approach to our next battle. No. of the Heath Witches, who overthrew a government using only deceptive prophecies. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to kings. Hold. We will finish later.
place is itchy. I think my beard's coming in. Is it? Yeah, my jawline. See? It's growing. Is it? Well, that's not just dirt. It's not dirt. Turning to my anecdote about the Heath Witches, they fed the Thane a prophecy of his ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, they took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Let this wait. Stay alert. My story. A thane of my homeland, manipulated by prophecy, welcomes his king as a guest and murders him in his sleep. Set that aside for now. Come. of cooking meat with those blades of yours. No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. <laughs> Back to my story. A thane of my homeland, manipulated by prophecy, welcomes his king as a guest and murders him in his sleep. No more for now. Focus. Back to my story. A thane of my homeland, manipulated by prophecy, welcomes his king as a guest and murders him in his sleep. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, 
the witches revisit this usurper. We need to be just a few details, structured ever so misleadingly. They convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or, or magical. magical. Aye, aye. But was not go for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You've really got to write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. You collected Kavasir's stories? Give them here! Huge fan! Oh, definitely need that. Strike true. What can I make for you? Wear it with pride. Let's see, my boy. What do you need? The elves don't get enough credit for their artisanship. Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. Yeah! 